Hello everyone, it's Nancy Amato, the Be More Stamper. Welcome, welcome. It is Saturday, um, July 1st already. Oh my goodness, how did that happen? I tell you, um, exciting times here. We are in our area. We are actually having our fireworks celebration tonight for July 4th instead of July, or uh, yeah. We're having it on the 1st for some reason on a Saturday instead of the 4th. So it has been very busy here in this area with people coming in to see fireworks. And I think they have food trucks and music and all this kind of stuff this this year. So um, it's been very busy in this area. So I can't wait. Usually we have no parking on our street by the time it's about 730 but with all those fun things added into the celebration this year, it might be a little more crowded than usual. So that sounds like fun. We get to take advantage of that. We just stand on the front lawn and watch the fireworks. So we don't have to worry about parking or traffic. So that's that's the good thing about us living here. So, alrighty, sorry I'm a little bit late today. Today I um, want to use the Wanted to Say dies and the new um, one horse, what is it called again? Oh, here's my little sample, tried to get organized. One horse open sleigh designer series paper that is gonna be available this week, July the 6th as an online exclusive. But first let's talk about these dies. They're kind of a hidden treasure in our annual catalog. If you have an annual catalog, they are on the bottom of page 167 here. Okay, and it's great that you have these greetings. You get the bubble dies. Let me show you the sample. You get the bubble dies, like in this case, I did the bubble background in the um, boho blue. And then I did the words in basic white. So you can use the words just by themselves, or you can back them up with the bubble, which I think looks really, really cool. That gives you kind of like a two, a, a layered look with your greeting, with your words. So we are going to use those. And again, they're in the annual catalog. Plus we're gonna use this gorgeous paper again. And if you didn't see last week's video, let me just run through this, these papers real quickly here. This is going to be part of the online exclusives starting July the 6th. What we have been told is once they're gone, they're gone. There may be some things they can reorder, but they're not telling us which ones they are which makes it a lot more difficult to plan. So what I'm going to tell you is, if you love this paper, like I do, I would get this as close to July 6th as you possibly can, okay? Because I do not know if it's gonna be back or not. I, I just have no way. I, I hate feeling like I can't give you the right information, but we don't have the information. So I really do not know if this paper will be restocked or not. So there is the one side. Let's flip it over and look at the patterns on the opposite side. So the opposite side is a little more subtle. Okay, you have some patterns here. This looks like a nice little speckle. Um, I love the wood grain. Oh my goodness, you know me. I love trees anyway. So this this is a this is a Nancy win right here, this pack of paper. So you know July 6th, I will be getting a couple of packs of this at least because I love it. So there we are. And those are the reverse sides. I love this one too. Oh my goodness, what's on that side? Oh, I love both of those sides. I might have to get some more. <laughs> So the pack comes as a six by six designer series paper pack and you get 48 sheets because they're six by six and the price is $12 and 50 cents. 
okay? So be aware that um, July 6th is the date we can start ordering. And I wish I could tell you, I do not know if it will be restocked once it is sold out. So I apologize for that, but that is just, this, that's how the online exclusives go. <laughs> Alrighty, so for our card today, we are, I didn't make the sample up with the, the paper that we're using today, but I do have this sample. This is the card that we are going to make today. I got this idea from fellow Stampin' Up! demonstrator, Susan Campfield. So thank you, Susan, for that. Um, and I'm going to show you what we need to make this card, okay? So I have gone ahead and die cut the bubble for the You're Too Kind. And we are going to then layer the words right on there. A little bit neater than I'm doing right here in my hand, but you get the, you get the message. <laughs> so there's your two kind. Let's scooch this over here. We need a card base. And in this case, I'm using Misty Moonlight. And it is eight and a half by five and a half. And there are two score lines here. There is a score line at two and one eighth to fold that over. And then I simply turn this around in my paper trimmer and do two and one eighth again, okay? So that is just easiest for me to do. And then we know these two are going to fit in right here together, alrighty? So it is a gate fold. Um, card base. All right, we are going to need three layers of cardstock, and each one of those is three and seven eighths by one and five eighths. So for this card, I chose basic white. And then we need three pieces of designer series paper. I need to see which order these went in. There we go, that's the bottom. And each one of those pieces is cut just a smidgen smaller. So they're going to be three and three quarters by one and one half. I love these birch trees. Oh my goodness, they're my favorite. And then for the inside panel, we just need a piece of basic white at four by five and one quarter. Okay, so let's get started. Let, let's attach um, our words to our bubble first. Okay, and I am just gonna use my favorite old um, two-way glue pen. Unfortunately, Stampin' Up! does not sell these anymore. I really wish we did. But I find this is the easiest way for me and my hands with arthritis <laughs> to be able to um, attach these. So I put a little bit of that glue on the back and then I use reverse tweezers to pick it up. And then I'm just gonna lay it right down. This gives me a little bit of time to wiggle it around so that I can place it right where I want it, okay? So there is the word your. We're going to flip over the word to. And these glue pens are available usually at most big box craft stores or um, good old Amazon. Here we are. There is that one. And then the word kind. And let's flip this over. Line that up right where I want it. Okay, and then I can press that down. Alrighty. So we are finished with that. I am just gonna slide that over, let that have time to dry. Okay, let's bring in 
our basic white panels. Well, let me go back and show you how you can cut your designer series paper so that you get um, the right way of having it included, you know, like having all of the trees exactly as you want them. Let's do, let's do this one once. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so since this is going to be three and three quarters, that's the first thing we're going to do is slide this over to three and three quarters. Alrighty. And now let's see, then it's one and a half. Let's see if we're going to one and a half, three. I want to see how much of this um, pattern we're going to get. And then a four and a half. That's what our that's what our pieces are going to look like. So I think that will be good. Now, if I wanted to, I could cut off this little tippy top so I got a little bit more detail from the bottom, but I am happy with that. So now we're going to slide this over to one and one half. Okay, one and one half again. And then one more time, one and one half. Okay. And we have this piece left over. Don't throw that away. You can use the back of that. So if we were going to use this scene, you would still have the cabin visible and everything. Okay. Maybe we will do that on a second card. Let's put that aside. But that is how I got my trees right here. So here is the base and then the middle. And then no. Oh, Let's see how these work. There we go. And then the top. Okay, so you can see when we separate those, the lines of the trees still line up. Okay, so this is my top piece. And then this is my middle. And then, of course, this is the base. All right, so we are going to layer these onto each of these pieces of basic white. Let me get my dry glue off of the top here. Okay, so we're just going to put a real thin line of glue. And you can use whatever adhesive you prefer. I am really starting to love the liquid glue because it's allowing me to have that time to wiggle it right into um, position. So I don't have to be perfect when I lay it down the first time. <laughs> hi, Nancy Lillibridge, and hi, Peggy. Hope you guys are having a great day. I did hear it's um, Canada Day, so maybe that's why we're having our um, fireworks today instead of, <laughs> instead of the 4th. We're celebrating Canada Day here in my neighborhood, I guess. Now, I think they were thinking since it's the weekend... This is the first time they've ever changed it from the fourth, but I think they were thinking since it's the weekend and then people don't necessarily have to get up early the next day for work. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how this works. I think this is like an experiment year to decide whether they're gonna always change it to the weekend or not. It feels a little strange to, you know, like, be having fireworks tonight, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, so we have all three of those glued down. We can slide these up here now. And I just pulled out the Timeless Arrangements stamp, and I pulled out the I Really Appreciate You um, greeting for our inside. Since our outside is going to say too kind, you're too kind, and then I figured I really appreciate you, goes very well with that. So let me pull in my little foam mat here because I am using a photo polymer, and I like to make sure I get a good image. So let's ink this up with my Misty Moonlight. And 
appreciate you. It can just get stamped right there. All righty. I will clean that in a bit. I say that, and then I will have um, ink all over my fingers, of course, but that's okay. <laughs> all righty. So let's slide this over. Now, let me pull up my sticky note from here. Let's put our inside panel in first. All righty, we're just going to center that right there between these two doors. And let's see, I'm already starting to have a bunch of piles. <laughs> That's me. It's going to have a craft avalanche because everything starts sliding. I am not a neat crafter at all. Oh my goodness. I have a sign that says creative minds are seldom tidy and man do I personify that. Whew. Okay so there we go. So we have that on the inside. Oops let me go over here and steal some dimensionals because we always have to have dimensionals. You know that. Okay, so just like this sample card here, we are now going to put our panels on the front of the card. But you're going to notice that the top panel and the bottom panel are attached here to this left-hand door, okay? And the right panel is going to be attached onto this right-hand door, or I should say the middle panel is attached onto this right-hand door, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this up, and actually I use something to weigh it down, and we are gonna put our top panel on here, and then reach for our bottom panel. And you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to seal um, I'm going to clean this off and steal this block because that will work out better because then I can see through and make sure that I am getting it where I want it. Okay, so we are going to line up that top panel and the bottom panel, and we're going to make sure our border around the top and the sides is even. Okay. So when we remove that block that we're just using as a weight, this is what it's going to look like for the top and the bottom. Okay. So what we're going to do is flip this over and I'm going to use dimensionals to attach these to the front. You can just use a regular, what did I use here? Oh no, I didn't use dimensionals. I used dimensionals for the words. Okay, so we're not going to use dimensionals for that. We're going to use dimensionals for the words. So we're going to just flip this over and you just want to put a little bit of glue on this side that's going to be on this left side panel. Okay, and because it's liquid glue, you have a chance to slide it around and get it where you want it. And I just wanna eyeball this because it's not really right in front of my head. I'm trying not to get my head into the camera view either. There we go. So now we have that, let's put our weight back. Now let's do the bottom panel. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna put a little glue right on this side because this is going to attach over here to this left-hand side door. Okay. And let's make sure it looks like these line up on either side. Okay, now we're going to bring in our middle panel. Oh my gosh, I love that. We're going to bring in our middle panel, and you guessed it, we're going to flip this over, both put some glue on this side, on the right side, because this is going to go on the right-hand side door. 
audience. So just eyeball this and you just want to kind of get spaces as even as you can between the top and the bottom and lining up the sides as best you can. And when you use a liquid glue, it gives you that little bit of wiggle room, right? Okay. So those are attached and then that is how it opens. Isn't that cool? Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna pop up our words. Let's see, I was thinking of doing it. Yeah, I still like it in the middle. <laughs> so I am gonna just use that as a weight and put some dimensionals on the back of here. I can fit my big dimensionals on here pretty well. I might have to do some edges. Let's see if I can fit a big one here so it doesn't show through. Yep, I'm going to just do one more there. There we go. That one works out fine. And look, I found my take a pixel. It was just in my to-go bag. That's all. I know where it was. I was just always too lazy to go get it. No, it was all the way in the other room. Must have been a whole 100 steps if that happened. Not even that. <laughs> there we go. So here's our year or two kind going right there. And then I appreciate you. I just think this is a really cute fun fold. It's really easy to do also. It's not difficult. And it just gives another little way to use up scenery designer series paper so that you can still see the whole scene there and um, just have some fun with it. Um, I love these birch trees, so oh my goodness, I will be getting tons of this paper. So my sample, you can notice, I was using the, what is it called? Um, masterfully made designer series paper from our annual catalog. And then for my middle panel, I just used a panel of um, basic white. We stamped it with the thanks so much. And then I ran it through, let's see, this embossing folder right here to get this little texture over top. So you stamp first, then you run it through the embossing folder. I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up. But this is also one of the online exclusives. It is the, what is it called? A triple, does, uh, triple embossing folder pack? Maybe? I can't remember. I have to look up. But it's the one with the polka dots. And there's like a little bit of a floral image. And then this cross hatch. I love this. It is on the online exclusive page of my website. Um, there we go. So that is how we did that one. But I wanted to showcase that beautiful one horse open sleigh paper today. I just love it. It doesn't have to be Christmas. As you can see, we're doing a thank you note with this one. It's not just strictly, you know, Christmas time, holiday cards. It is beautiful for so many other reasons. Okay, that is our stamping for today. Um, but you will be able to um, have a chance to win this card by liking, loving, sharing, commenting, whatever. And um, I will put you in the drawing to receive this card right here. So speaking of online exclusives, um, I did want to show you. This is a little image that we got online as demonstrators. And if you look down here in this lower right corner, you can see that there is a pickup truck and a pickup truck punch. So that is coming on um, July 6th. This is also another stamp as well. This looks like it would be great for coloring with um, stamp and blends. It almost looks like a stained glass kind of image. And then of course, the um, one horse open sleigh bundle, um, but you can see the little truck image peeking out there. I do not know how much this truck bundle will be. It looks like it's a photo polymer stamp. 
and a punch. It's like I have to play Nancy Drew here with these images, right? So, again, with the online exclusives, we do not know how many they ordered, how much they have, if they can be reordered. So, if you are interested in any of these products that will launch online only on uh, July 6th, and I will post pictures here on my website, I mean, on my Facebook page, because um, I know not everyone, you know, looks at my website. So I will post pictures with um, information and pricing, but I have just a gut feeling that this pickup truck and this punch are going to be extremely popular. And I do not know if it's going to be reordered. So if this is something that you are interested in, I would get it sooner rather than later. Because we do know, remember we had the um, Rhino stamp set and the Rhino dies as an online exclusive last time. And the Rhinoceros dies, the Rhino dies sold out very quickly. And they did not have any more coming in. So what I'm going to say is a word of caution. Whatever you like from these online exclusives, I cannot guarantee that they will be back in stock. Once they're gone, they may be gone. But a good thing about July 6th also is <laughs> bonus days are coming back on July the 6th. So here's how that works. Every time you spend $50 between July 6th and July 31st, you are going to get a $5 coupon sent to your email, okay? So make sure you look for that. It will be sent right into your inbox. Um, they, it will be like a coupon code. And then save them up, and then from August 1st through 31st, you can redeem those codes when you check out, okay? So you can buy in July and then redeem the codes in August. So if there are things with the online exclusives that you love, I suggest you snag them up as soon as possible just to avoid any disappointment. And then when you spend $50 increments, you will earn a $5 coupon code that you can then use in August, okay? So every $50 gets a $5 coupon code. So if you order $100, you get $10. You get two $5 coupon codes. If you order $150, not only do you get host rewards of $15, you can pick $15 worth of free stuff, that you would like, you will then have three $5 coupons in your inbox that you can use then in August. So you can see, you can use as, get as many coupons as you would like for every $50 order. All righty. Quick reminder about um, July the 30th. I'm having a stamping class and bingo using the kindest expressions. Stamp set here, there will be four, we will be making four cards, and then playing some bingo as well. So if you are interested in that, I believe in a previous post, I have the link to the Google form that you can sign up for that. I will also put the um, Google form link in the comments below this video as well. So let me know if you're interested in that. It is via Zoom, so you can be really anywhere in the U.S., and I can send your packet to you. All righty. Now, no images will be pre-stamped or anything for you because that is against Stampin' Up! policy. So if you have this stamp set, you can use your own stamp set. If you want to add this stamp set on to your registration, you can do that as well. Or if you have a stamp set with greetings approximately this size, <laughs> you can use your own. That's not a problem at all. So you will get a card kit for each of the make and takes with all of the paper um, cut and 
and ready to go. All you need to do is stamp and assemble. Okie dokie. So this was our card again today using the One Horse Open Sleigh Designer Series paper that is coming on Thursday, July the 6th. So let's see. Let's do it. Let's use. Remember, I caught this one before too. Let's let's build this one too because I have some extra. So if you have a minute, stick around. I'm going to build this one as well. Okay, but I think I'm going to use a different color card base for this one. I'm going to pull out. Um, let's see, maybe some pool party. It looks like pool party. Hopefully I have some pool party right next to me and I won't cause an avalanche. <laughs> if not, I know I have, um, I know I have some early espresso that would look really nice to you. Actually, I think the early espresso would look better because of the fence. The pool party might be a little bit bright. So let's put this one together. Okay, so we have the top, whoops, the top, <laughs> then the middle, and then the bottom. I'm not going to pull out a piece of early espresso. Next to me on the floor. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so here I can even show you how I cut and, or score and cut. So I'm going to use the full piece of paper here. That way I will be able to cut two card bases at the same time. All right, I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. I'm going to get that cutting blade up there out of my way so that I do not cut by mistake. I want to use my scoring blade right here. So I'm going to have an eight and a half inch side at the top. I'm sliding that over to two and one eighth, okay? And I'm just going to score it. All right, put that back up at the top so I don't cut my mistake. I'm going to just flip it around, come in again to two and one eighth. Okay, so I still have that eight and a half inch side up at the top. Just coming around to two and one eighth again. And then I'm going to score. Now I can flip it a quarter turn, slide it over to five and a half, because now I have the 11 inch side up at the top. So I want to cut it in half. So we're sliding that over here to the left at five and a half, and then just cut that down. Okay, so now I have two card bases that I can use for this fun fold. I'm just going to fold this in, and let's see, if you were my bone folder, where might you be on this desk? Hmm. I don't see you, Mr. Bone Folder. You must be under a pile somewhere. Yep, okay, so we're just going to do that with our thumb. <laughs> we're going to say, that's good. That works. All right, so we're going to fold this up. I'm going to use this block to weigh this down once again. And we're going to grab the top and the bottom right here. Let's slide that middle out of the way. We don't need that one yet. Okay, so again, we're going to put this little bit of glue right here on the back of this left side. Push that right where we want it. Okay. And then, oops, not there. Not, don't move there. <laughs> All right. Now push that down. And let that glue grab it. There we go. Give that a chance to dry. All right. Now we're going to flip this one over. And again, we're going to put some glue on the back of this left side here because we're going to put this right here and I don't know why this is so wiggly. I think I'm using too much glue. This is a new bottle of glue so I think I'm being a little heavy-handed with it. Okay 
So now we have the top and the bottom. Now we're going to put this one right in the middle. But of course, we are going to have to put some glue on the back of the right side there. So this is going to get attached to the right hand door. Okay, and then just slide that. So we kind of have. There we go. Even spacing between those two. pushing that down with the block. Okay, so there we go. We have this one as well. And I probably wouldn't even, I might do a little greeting up here, but I don't want to do anything to cover up the cabin or the fence. So I think I'm just going to leave this as it is. And then I'll cut a piece for the inside and put that there. But you can see how quick and easy these cards are. So give it a try. See, um, see how it goes. If you have any questions, please let me know. I know, Nancy, I love this fold too. It is just so much fun. And it looks like it's really, really hard, but it really isn't. It really isn't hard at all. It's just gluing, just knowing where to put the glue so that you have the panels the top and the bottom panels on this left hand side of the gatefold door and the middle one you just fit right in the middle to um, the right hand side of the gatefold door. So, okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are in Canada, happy Canada Day. Or if you're from Canada, happy Canada Day. And um, have a safe Fourth of July weekend. We'll, we'll put it that way since it seems like celebrating is starting early. <laughs> so have a safe Fourth of July weekend if you're here in the U.S. And I will see you next time. Remember, Thursday is the day for the online exclusives to begin. And bonus days earning period begins Thursday as well. So that's kind of nice that these two things line up, I think. So thank you so much. Have a great weekend, and I will see you again next week. Take care. Bye-bye.